Okay, so let me explain. All right, so the problem is, if you look inside there, you see the wood siding? The old, there's the old siding. And it buds up to the, to the shingles there. And then I put this over it. And what happens is the dirt collects there to that flashing. Cut the siding away. And then clean it up. You want to see the copper flashing. And uh, now it's cold. Now it's easy to no more dirt. It's like the siding is a problem because it's vinyl siding, or in this case, it's aluminum siding. But it causes problems when it comes to meet butt up with a, another roof. And the problem is it's too low, and the old wood siding was too low. So what happens is debris. The debris collects there. Look at the debris. Look at it. The debris collects in there. And they couldn't do a, a proper attachment with a flat roof here. Look. So they put tar, but they couldn't get to it. Because they, it's hard. Look where they put the tar here, but they never got the roof right there to the corner. Let me show, let me explain to you. I'm going to explain to you, and then hopefully you, anybody with a shingle roof knows what's going on. Check the, check the rusted nail there. See the rusted nail? There's a rusted nail there. Okay. So, what happens is, the debris collects here and blocks the water from, from flowing freely here underneath here. And you see the debris here? And when it collects like this, it diverts the water to the side. And that, that's why the nails get rusted, because the water has to flow sideways. So that one is rusted there. So I use this product. Turbo poly seal and a fleece. You have a fleece? Yeah. And a brush. And so what I do is I, I paint this with turbo poly seal to make this proper transition. And um, you get it from Bergstrom.com. Simple, simple, simple. Paint this on. Just like that. All right, just I give it to you. Give it to you. So you cut yourself a piece. And this is how easy it is. See now? Make a transition from the from the rubber to the mem uh, from the rubber membrane, from the roofing membrane to the flashing. And that you tie your flashing in. And you're done. So with that, and you're all done. Never will leak. Never. That's how simple it is to make a, a transition from a roof to flashing so you can tie it in. Flashing from this roof is done, is now connected to the flash. I mean, the roof is now connected to the flashing. So that's how you fix uh, the transition between a rubber roof and a metal roof, a metal flashing. It's, it's a common problem, very common problem. So, again, clean the, the dirt off from the flashing and the, and the shingles, and then uh, remove the siding. Cut the siding up higher 
in this case I have it at over an inch inch and a half and I cleaned the flashing and then I I sealed the the, the, the bottom there and you have it okay I'm the flat roof doctor I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two blah 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 this was not a pretty job though because whoever did the siding and the previous siding so I'm just making it leak proof but nobody can see this but it's still I like to do a neat job but it was not that pretty but anyway subscribe thumbs down if you don't like it thumbs up if you okay with it and I see you on the next video thank you for watching